Welcome back friends. In this video, uh, which is the third part on conic section, I want, in the previous two videos, I talked about circle. So in, the, in this section, or in this part, in this video, I'm going to talk about the next conic section, which is ellipse. So let us look at what mathematically an ellipse is. Okay. Now, uh, the general formula of any ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So any ellipse, now this ellipse is has a center of 0, 0. So if the center is 0, 0, the ellipse has this equation, where a is, so this is an ellipse which, which is centered at o, 0, 0. And this has a, this is called the major radius. A is called the major radius and B is called the minor radius. C is called, or uh, both these C's are called the foci or in single it is called focus. So C is a focus. So you've got two focus. So now to draw an ellipse, what you do is you can, you can imagine uh, these two as the center, okay? And imagine these two lines as strings, they're attached. Uh, suppose we pin this, suppose this is a point, we pin this point, and we pin this point, okay? And imagine this is my hand, and this and this are the, are the strings, okay? This is one string, uh, so one end of the string is attached at negative C, and the other end of the string is attached is at C. And imagine, uh, this is a pencil, I put it, say, here. And if this is attached on this axis, and if I draw a, if I draw a circle, that circle would look like an ellipse. So these two are called the radii, oh, sorry, foci, okay? Okay, they are the center in a way. So this, has, this is the minor uh, radius, radii, and this is the major radius. So it has got two radii. Okay. So here, uh, the formula of uh, the B squared, in this case, uh, A is a bigger radius, and B is the minor radius. A is the major radius, and B is the minor radi radius. And the formula is b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. So if you make c the subject, you can understand c squared is a squared minus b squared. Now this is also, you can say, uh, the fat uh, and the uh, round and the fat. Or you can say Humpty Dumpty, these are two Humpty Dumptys. So this is, uh, if I remember it right, this is Humpty and this is the Dumpty. This is thin and lean, this is fat and round, okay? So here, here the smaller radius is A, or the minor radius, radius is A, and the major radius is B. So in this case, C squared would be B squared minus A squared, okay? Okay, so these are the two, these are the formulas you need to remember. So if you have, if you can write any equation in this form that would be a uh, would be an ellipse so let us look at uh, an example hopefully you understand that this is an example of ellipse so let me go step by step so this is the equation of an ellipse okay which is uh, uh, 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 8x plus 36y plus 4 equal to 0 the process is the same. We are doing completing square, the method of completing squares. So what's the first step? So I have grouped the x's together. You've got a 4x squared and you've got a minus 8x. So that is grouped here. And you have uh, different color. This is the y's together. That is 9y squared and 36y have been grouped here. And then what I've done is I've taken away 4 from both sides. So if you take away 4 from this side, you can take away 4 from this side. 
and then you can cancel it so if it this is plus four and this is minus four gets cancelled and uh, you have zero take away four is negative four okay so that's what i have done now i want to make it a complete a perfect square okay okay so for before before doing completing squares what i've done is i have factored out a four year okay so you can factor out four year so you'll get x squared you'll get x squared minus 2x plus something and if you factor out 9 from this you get 9 uh, 9 times y squared plus 4y now look at this and tell me uh, uh, which number comes here so that this would become a perfect square so I think by now you know this has to be 1 okay the reason being uh, half of negative 2 is negative 1 and square of negative 1 is 1 so if you if you have written 1 here can you understand if you expand it 4 times x is 4x squared 4 times negative 2x is negative 8x this is 4 times I have written 1 year so in fact I have written 4 year I hope you understand the reason being 4 times 1 is 4 so if you write 4 year you have to write a 4 year Okay, so the same thing if you write a four year, you would write a four year. Okay, let me use a different color. Okay, the same thing, what what would make this a perfect square? So you got half of four is two and two squared is four. So if I write a four, four year, I hope you can understand. In fact, I have written a 36 year. So it has to be 36 year. So I'll write 36 year. So if I write a 36 here, I would write a 36 here. And if I write a 36 here, I would write a 36 here. Very logical. Okay, I'll repeat it again. I've written a 1 here to make it a perfect square. So if I write a 1 here, this is in fact 4 because 4 times 1 is 4. If I write a 4 here, I'd write a 4 here. And if I write a 4 here, I'd write a 4 here. Same logic, same principle to make it a come. A perfect square I'd write a 4 and in fact 4 times 9 or 9 times 4 is 36 so this is 36 I've written 36 here 36 here 36 here so now we have done though we haven't done anything we have this and this are the same I think you haven't done anything as such okay so let us move forward so this has become a perfect square of 4 times x minus 1 squared plus 9 times y plus 2 squared is equal to 36. Now to write in the quadratic, uh, sorry, in a ellipse form, this has to be 1, if you remember. So what I've done, the next step is I have divided each by 36 because I want a 1 here. So I divided this by 36, this by 36, and this by 36. Okay, so what has happened now? So this has become uh, 4 goes in 36 9 times and 9 goes in 36 4 times so this is x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y plus 2 squared over 4 is equal to 1 okay so now let me highlight this so I'll bring up this equation so this is the ellipse equation okay and as I just discussed this is the formula of psi and if you make see the subject okay so what has happened here so here this has become this has become uh, this this can be compared with this okay so here uh, when the center is zero zero this can be the equation or uh, when the center is zero zero uh, this is the equation now here this and this are not same so in this case uh, the center of this ellipse uh, is equal to now to understand the center you think or you think about making when would this become zero for which value of x would this become zero because if as I told you here the center is zero zero so I'll I'm thinking when would this become a zero 
I know this becomes a zero when x is one, so the center is one, comma, and when would this become zero? The center has to be negative, so the center is one negative two. I'll continue this in the next video. Thank you very much.